This is part two of the Shapely tutorial. In the first part of the tutorial, I demonstrated how to install and then add the plugins to get your Shapely site looking like the demo. So you should have a site that looks like this. If not, just go back and review that first tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to customize and change all of these images and text and buttons so you can create your own website with your own content. Start by downloading some images from this website, unsplash.com. Scroll over an image that you want and just click on the download arrow to download that to your, to your computer. Or you can go to my website, gonzamedia.com, and choose the articles section and choose this article, Free Image Libraries, and I go over some places where you can download free images. You're going to need some big images to replace to replace the images you see in your model. So to begin with, go to your dashboard and choose the appearance themes area and click on the customize button for your theme, the Shapely theme. Now the thing you need to remember about WordPress is that where you're mostly going to customize your sites is through something called widgets. And this website is actually a one-page website. These are not pages or posts as you've studied previously, but these are all widgets and widget positions. So you're going to go to the widgets area here of the customization edit area over here on the left. Click on widgets. And notice that there's a series of widgets for this particular theme, but all of them are contained in the home page. This is just one big home page. The footer widgets are pretty much empty, but click on the home page, and then here are all your widgets stacked on top of each other. And what you need to remember is that the top widget here is this first top section. Notice that this picture matches this picture, this We Change Everything WordPress. We can put here top widget position, and notice that this changes over here to the right. Click over here, and you should see that text pop up there. Also the button, Read More. You can change that to Read Here, for example. And notice that the button will change. It takes, takes a minute, but it will change right there. Notice if you scroll all the way to the bottom, another widget here is labeled, Do You Like This Awesome WordPress Theme? So. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom on the left hand side, this bottom widget area, and this is also labeled the same, so if I want to change this text here, call out text, all I do is change it here. So this is the bottom most widget position, and sure enough, click outside there and notice that this will change. And let's change that from download here to download button, and notice that those content areas change according to what I have here. So all you'll do for this assignment is to go in order through the various widget sections. Notice that the second section contains this image here and it says SEO friendly, so we're going to label that second widget position. The lorem ipsum text is down here, so go ahead and change that. Let's change the image here, let's remove the image and that should disappear over there, notice. And let's choose a new image. So here's where you'll upload or select a new file. So I've downloaded some previous images that I'm going to use for this demo in my photos folder, so I recommend that you do the same. Go to my websites or get some images. You'll need some big images to really fit here. And then once that is finished uploading, it's going to upload to your SiteGround host. And once that's done uploading, you should see the image there here with a check mark next to it click on the update button. Eventually that image will show up here. Notice you also have some position settings, image position. I can move that from the right to the left by choosing the left drop down over here. I can also choose top or bottom. That option will bring that image all the way across to fill the whole page. That's where this image position is. It's in the top position. So notice that that's now at the very top going all the way across. Let's change that back to left and just go through in order. Notice that the third widget area 
is this portfolio section. So again, click on that third widget, open that up, and notice that those correspond. That image is the same as this one. So you can remove the image, choose a new image, change the text here, which is the content text, change the button text, change the image position, and then what you'll have when you're done is something like this example. So I've gone through and put in new images, change some text, change the position of the images, and so on. When you're done, go ahead and save everything, move out of the widget area, and visit the site, and it should look quite a bit different. I want you to customize this using your own images and your own text quickly with the idea that you want to learn how to work these widgets. All the professional themes with WordPress come with these widgets, so this is an exercise in just kind of practicing modifying your theme using the widget editor. Once you've finished it, go ahead and post your URL so I can evaluate your modifications.